So now I'll see him talking first and we'll show his work later. Hi, my name is Anthony Sandstrom. I'm uh, from Canada and I've been here in Thailand the last few years, DJing, loving it, having great times. Thanks. My DJ name I go by is Antoine. Uh, basically, I took upon that name because uh, one of my best friends always used to call me Antoine, kind of in honor of him. Uh, I've been DJing since about 1996, I think. Uh, I basically just started from going out to big parties and big raves back in Vancouver. This is where I'm from, Vancouver. And uh, basically looking at the guy at the front, what's he doing? He's playing turntables and records. I thought that was kind of crazy. And when I had some friends who were DJs and they taught me, it became a hobby just filled a lot of compassion for that, decided to take it upon myself and learn. And now it's my job. I'm loving it. It's great. Pussy. Yes, I've been here about two and a half years and I want to try and start a little importing and exporting business as well as my uh, DJing and hopefully stay for a little bit longer. I love Thailand. I love the life. I love culture, people, fun. And I don't want to live in Canada my whole life. I need to live somewhere else and learn, learn cultures and such. Why did I join? Uh, I guess two different reasons. One was, uh, the main reason is my friend who I used to work with last year, he entered the competition uh, and he did really well. He actually won. Uh, I was quite happy for him, quite proud. I thought, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So I wanted to try it. Uh, the other aspect is, I like the idea of the competition. Like, like I said before, I race motorcycles and I race professional. I like that competition. I haven't had that in my life in a long time. So I wanted to feel, feel that again. And when I did the second tryouts, um, I did. I felt a little bit nervous and it was good. It was, it was exciting. What qualities you should be in a DJ to help get yourself better? One, maybe be a good dancer. Because you, the certain styles, if you can dance, you can relay that music, people will feel that. I also believe that you have to listen to other people, listen to other styles, uh, be open to music. Don't just, you know, think your one style is the best way. Know that other people are going to be better than you. Know that you can always improve and just be open to to whatever music is out there and, and evolve with the times. You have to be able to evolve. You know? One of the main qualities, sorry I should say, is you always research good music. Always keep researching your music. Uh, part of the thing about DJing I find is half of it has been practicing. I spend hours and hours and hours in my underwear in my bedroom just sitting there all night, you know, no girlfriend, no one wants to practicing. And then the other part is I'm on the internet, I'm always looking for music. Uh, that's another part. 50% practicing, 50% trying to find music. So. Uh, favorite style I like to play is upbeat, funky, uh, I guess you call it uplifting. I like the music to be a little bit edgier, something a bit of tribal. Tribal music is quite popular. Um, I don't play trance. I don't play some of the other genres, a little bit diff more difficult, like uh, your drum and bass, such like that. I like house. I got a 4-4 beat house, oh, I love that. It's a mixture of, like I said, disco, tribal, but uplifting.